In the world of portable audio, high quality portable audio that is, few brands are more synonymous with the very concept than iFi. This is the iFi Go Bar. And it even comes in this really nice leather case that's got a belt loop integrated into it. It's like a holster for dangerously good sound. All right, but before we talk about the details of this device and I tell you about my experience with it, don't forget to subscribe to the Gramophone channel and click that bell icon right down there so you don't miss out on any of the great highlights of really cool products that we've got coming up for you. All right, so let's get into this. Let's take a look at our Go Bar. Pop the lid on our holster, and we've got USB-C to USB-C, nice little gold braided cable, kind of a iFi calling card, and of course, USB-C to Lightning. And here is our Go Bar. Really compact, very out of the way. It's got a nice anodized finish on it that feels really solid, and for as small and light as it is, it feels good in quality in the hand. This might be a little difficult to see, but we'll show you on B-roll. There are some etchings on the back with little LED lights that will denote what sample rate you're playing back at so you know precisely what quality is coming out of your device. 4448 all the way up to 384 kilohertz. How about DSD? Yeah, that's right, DSD on a device this tiny and mobile. And you've even got little indicators for whether or not you're playing an MQA, whether you have X-Base enabled. X-Base, pretty self-explanatory. More bass, it's a nice little bass bump EQ implemented by iFi on a lot of their products, and I actually much like it on most things. And then there's X Space, which you can enable at your will. That boosts little bits of mid-range frequencies that are known for how they affect soundstage and image, and give you that more holographic presentation, and that works pretty well too. We've got a standard three and a half jack, but not just a standard three and a half jack. There's a 4.4 Pentacon. This is a balanced amplifier the size of a slightly enlarged thumb drive. This side, you have your power button, which you hold to power on, and then you can actually hold it down and click through different settings for X Base and X Base. Finally, there is a feature called IEM Match. If you're running a pair of IEMs, you can either put that on 3.5 or on 4.4. What that does is make little changes to the output of this device to account for the very high sensitivity of IEMs, which can come off a little bit noisy if you don't really work with that. And finally, this can do MQA. So if you've got Tidal on your phone, you're good to go. Now in terms of power output, this thing is pretty impressive. This is not an easy to drive headphone. It's 300 ohms. That is up there when it comes to impedance. I mean like up, up there. And with this, while I nearly had to turn it up to max, I could still be about one whole bar off the top volume setting and have these cranking pretty good. So if you want to pick up probably about the most functional, most portable, most compact, yet still best sounding, best performing portable headphone DAC amp that I've yet seen, click on the link down below to head on over to skybygramophone.com. Secure checkout, fast shipping, and free. And you can pick one of these up for just $3.29. Please don't forget to stop by any of the Gramophone locations. You'll find us in Timonium, in Columbia, and in Gaithersburg, Maryland. We want you to make a good decision, and we want to be there with you and help you make it. And have fun in the process. We're talking about music and audio here. This is a good time. So come jam out a little bit and see what you like. Hit that like button. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out. Drop a comment down below with any additional questions that you might have, or just to chat with me in the comment section. And as always, I appreciate every single one of you for being here for taking the time to watch our videos we really love having you around be seen